GHCV here. Just wanted to show you they've managed to decode some ADS B using this little little stick here. This uh, Hammer Nano DVB-T stick, um, which cost me less than twenty pounds. You can see it's very very small. I've actually got that going into um, the uh, adapters there going into an end tank going into um, uh, a 35 element tonner which is meant for ATV at 1249 MHz now this ADBS stuff works on about 1090 or 1.09 gig so that, that card is currently um, running through what we call VirtualBox which is uh, an Oracle virtual PC running on my Windows 7 64-bit box so I've got a virtual environment running uh, Ubuntu 11.0432-bit I've got a piece of software here that's that's uh, grabbing data in real time as it sees the ADBS uh, broadcast you can see it flying through the screen there so on the um, virtual box I'm, I'm basically sharing a Windows folder my, my, my C, uh, my C temp drive, okay, and I've mounted to that. I don't know if you can see that using this command here. So I've done a, a suit. Well, I've created a, a, a test two folder off my home directory and done a sudo mount minus t vbox sf space temp, and then the, um, the the home directory tilde forward slash test two. Um, so I'm, I'm mounting that um, as a drive on the Ubuntu system and uh, I'm, I'm CDing into that directory and I'm running this command here uh, which is a Python script to create a, a KML file this is all using GNU radio uh, as a back end and I've got all the information off hamradioscience.com um, just trying to see what the mod is that I used. Yeah, so I built the um, GNU radio software on here. I did an RTL test to, to test the um, SDR radio. It's got it's the um, RTL uh, 2832 chip in there with the E4000 tuner, so, and that made sure that was working. And then uh, it's a case of uh, running some more commands to get this um, gr-air-modes package so all the information is on hamradioscience.com I'll put the link up on uh, YouTube for that so anyway, so now I'm running this command here which is creating the KML file for Google Earth so if I flick back to my Windows PC I've actually gone to Google Earth and I've added a network link and you can set network links to refresh. That's pulling in the KML file. So you can hear, you can see here are the actual aircraft that I'm picking up. So you know, I'm, I'm south of Manchester. I'm picking up virtually down to Cardiff and Bristol, um, all the way up to um, you know the borders. So all those red X's are, are real-time aircraft. If, if I zoom in to say my local area you'll see that every five seconds those aircraft are actually moving so come on do it again yeah so it's real time I'm just going to change view here just put the camera somewhere it's difficult to do with, uh, with one hand Putting the camera there for a minute. And, uh, let's change the view. This is quite a nice feature. Um, with it being 3D, if I zoom into Manchester Airport, um, uh, I'll try and show that now. It actually shows you the height of the aircraft. So there's, uh, it's hard to see, but this. There's two there coming in just above Wimslow. 
and then uh, if I look further up there you, you can see some more which are really high up on these on these white poles um, so I'm click on that one there it says it, it'll even tell you, you know, it's at 27,000 feet heading 205 degrees speed 371 it's just updated so it's moved again so you can see how high things are and uh, look at the paths you can see uh, you know that's that's real time and it's showing all the paths from the aircraft I thought that was quite quite cool anyway so it's the first day um playing around with this and I'm quite pleased with the coverage as I said it's 12 um, 40 to 1250 megahertz around about the, um, the the antenna that I'm using so it's not ideal uh, but it seems to be picking up an awful lot of aircraft even though they're all transmitting on um, 1090 megahertz using ADS-B so all good fun GHCB